Hello everybody, this is Ducey and I am excited to show you another new update for Encounter Plus and this time we got some updates to dice. Now, the previous implementation would do quick rolls and I actually really like the quick rolls where you have something up here like let's say a monster. Let's bring in a dragon here. And you can click on the attack rolls and it quickly rolls for you. You can click on the damage quickly rolls the damage for you. And there's some tricks like if you press and hold on it, you can do advantage or disadvantage. Or if you press and hold on damage, you can tell it to roll critical damage for you. It gives you the minimum half and the maximum. Half is super handy for things where somebody saves and they only take half damage. It's got the calculation right there for you, tells you what all the individual rolls were. But now they have just gone above and beyond. I'm going to hit these three dots up here. I'm going to click on this dice roller. Now we've got a separate window with a dice roller. So we can do custom rolls in here. D20 plus 7 without having to have any text over here. Equals. And there we go. I've rolled the dice. But even better than that is we can now click on these three dots up here and choose 3D dice. Now we're talking. Let's do some more. Let's do uh, let's do a fireball, which is 8d6. Oh, let me clear that out. 8d6. Ah, oh, yeah, and there's our total right up on top. And if we go, oop, I can click on these and re-roll them too. That's one of my favorite things that works with the D20s. That's great for if uh, you say I'm going to use Lucky and re-roll the D20, or if you've got some feat that says, ooh, re-roll all the ones. Okay, re-roll the one, re-roll the one, and re-roll the one. I got ones again down there, so I just had to check real quick. It's like, did, I, did it go to the same thing? Yeah, there we go. Now I'm going to click on these three dots, like I said before, go to messages. It also keeps a history of my rolls here if I've rolled in public mode. So now I've got public mode on, I'm going to roll, and it pushes that roll out to here. This is also true if I'm in the web client. Playing online, I make a roll. If it's in public mode, you can see it gets pushed out to here. If it's in private mode, Let's go to private. It does not push my result out here. Again, we'll go back to public. I'm just clicking to get rid of the dice. And now that dice roll is public. Let's clear this out and do just a D20 plus a modifier simple roll. And that eight got pushed out because I'm in public mode or again, I can take it off. And as much as I love these 3D dice, if I'm really in a rush, I'm running through lots of monsters, I might just turn that off and get these quick responses here. Now that's how you can control public and private in the dice roller, but if we go to settings, we've got some new dice options. We still have our dice rolling sound effect that we could turn on or off if you want. I haven't been recording that, that's why you haven't been hearing my dice. But under the dice roller here, we have mode private. And if we change that to public, this is talking not about the dice roller, but about these automated dice rolls out of stat blocks for spells and monsters and things. Now those can be public as well if you change it in settings. I'm going to set mine back to private. And here we've got type, standard, or 3D. So if we switch that to 3D, now the dice rolls that come from stat blocks like monsters and spells and whatnot also will use the 3D dice. And you can see it's done all the math up there. It's shown us here what the original was. And then up here, 6 plus 14 was 20. We'll do damage. Does the math for us up top, but we can also see the individual rolls just like we were at the table. Now the 3D dice don't go to the web client quite yet, but the developer has said that they will be rounding that out to get those 3D dice to head over to the web client, but it does go to the second display right now. If we make sure we are public, we can roll, and it shows us what the roll is in our normal standard way there, or we can go to 3D dice, 
and we get the 3D dice mode. All right. So that will show up right on the table there. This is especially handy if you normally just make your rolls quick. You're not throwing the dice out onto the screen all the time, but a dramatic roll is coming up. Then you can quickly turn it on and say, all right, here's this time. Will the vampire get the final bite that's going to kill the PC? 17. So I'm super excited to see these cool 3D dice in here. And not only do we have 3D dice, but they are 100% customizable. So if we go to the dice roller settings, 3D dice roller settings, there are a ton of presets, colors that we can choose from. This is text colors. Let's, you know, we can do black text, white text, red text, whatever we want. We can change the color of the dice themselves. And it says the material is fractal. Well, look at this. Let's do crystal ones. Now we've got crystal dice that are red. Let's do blood dice. I don't even know what that means. Blue blood dice. Okay, cool. Let's do dragon dice. Whoa, like dragon scales. Red dragon scale dice. We've got galaxy dice. Let's see. Let's do, uh, let's do like... Yeah, that's kind of cool effect that we've got there. We could do something like this. Oh, that's cool. Let's make those numbers a little more subtle. Blend in a little more. A lot of fun stuff we can do. Ooh, whoa, here we go. Yeah. <laughs> you can mix and match to your heart's content. Ooh, let's do wood dice. Yeah, you see that wood grain texture on there. Very cool. Steel, marble, malachite. No extra cost for all of these different ones. You do not have to pay $5 or $15 for a set of digital dice. No, this comes with all of the dice rolling. Very cool. You can also set separate themes for different types of dice rolls. Make your attack rolls one color, your damage rolls a different color, your saving throws a different color, your checks a different color. So here I can get in here, all the same options to change my attack dice. So let's do, oh, that's kind of a fun combination there. All right, we'll save that. So now when I attack, it uses those dice, and all the rest of my dice use the default because I hadn't changed those. Okay, let's go back to dice settings. 3D dice roller. Physics speed, normal. If you like the 3D dice, but you really want them to get going faster, you can do fast, or you can do ultra fast. Let's roll that. Yeah, it goes real fast now. If you want to get to the point, but you like the 3D roller, there it is. And finally, if you really want to geek out, you can turn on this performance stats. And it will show you your frames per second and some information down here about how it's running. Now a few final things about rolling dice. I'm gonna head back to the web client here. We've got rules for advantage and disadvantage. We can do a d20 with advantage plus five that way, just by clicking d20 advantage and adding pluses or bringing some minuses there and roll. But you can also do slash r and type out the kind of die roll you wanna do. 2d6 plus six easy enough. You can also do what's called the drop lowest. So like, let's say you're all rolling uh, character stats together. You can do slash R or slash roll and do 4d6 DL. That means drop the lowest of those 4d6s. So you can see that it rolled a five, a four, a six, and a three. And the three has an X by it because it was the lowest. So it took that one out of its adding up and I got a 15 for my strength or whatever it is that I rolled for. You can also tag your rolls like this. 1d20 plus whatever. And then in brackets put initiative, for example. And now that I said, this is an initiative roll, not just a custom roll. 
You can do saving throws like this. That's a save, charisma save. You can do things like acrobatics check. You can do things like dagger attack. Or things like dagger damage. Right now, that doesn't do too much other than label it for you, which is still really handy. But it does help you categorize, especially if you are really having, if you're really wanting to keep track of kind of what's happening with a lot of those roles there. And of course, it syncs back to the app and anybody else who's playing. So those are all of the new cool dice rolling options. I hope you all enjoy that in Encounter Plus. As always, if you have questions, hop on over to the Discord, hop on the Facebook group, or into the subreddit. We'd love to hang out with you. That is all that I have for now. I may make some more tips videos. There's lots of other little changes besides the, the videos that I've just made for some of these updates that I would love to share with all of you. But until then, I hope you all have great games playing D&D in Encounter Plus. Thanks.